Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and on and on we'll go. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about my favorite products of the month. Well, I guess not month because I haven't done one of these videos in forever, and. I was gonna make like a quarantine favorites. I guess what that's technically what this video is. It's like my favorite products at the moment. But if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead, click the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let's just get right into the video. I'm gonna be talking about my favorite products of the moment. I have everything from skincare to hair products to some makeup products as well. I guess we could get started talking about hair stuff. So the two hair products that I've been using a lot lately that I've been loving has been the Delectable. This is a hair and body mist. And this is in the scent Strawberry Cream. So I actually had the lotion from this brand and it was really good. I own a bunch of their lotions. They have just really... Their products just smell amazing. So if you guys have heard of the brand Cake, it's sold at Shoppers Drug Mart now. It used to be sold at like Sephora in the Bay, but they actually have it at Shoppers Drug Mart. They also make the Delectable brand. So I just randomly bought this because it was on clearance and I decided to try it. So I actually do use this on my hair, not on my body, but on my hair. This product actually smells like strawberry ice cream to me. It smells so good. And I put this in my hair when my hair is like second day hair i guess and third day hair because i do wash my hair every three days especially just after getting it bleached i go about the three day mark before washing my hair again so this is just a nice pick me up and i do spray this on my roots and i don't really like the feel of dry shampoo very much i honestly feel that dry shampoo can be kind of it just can make your hair feel really heavy because it's obviously it has powder and it absorbs the oil in your hair and everything. My hair doesn't get too greasy, but I would say that I need to spray it down with something after, you know, working out and everything like that. So I definitely love this spray. You can get it at Shoppers Drug Mart and it's awesome. I also have another hair product here and this is by Mori and this is their Mineral Ultimate Girl Spray. I use this kind of like a detangler slime slash kind of like pick me up as well so i would spray this one in my roots kind of thing and then this i would spray on the rest of my hair they both smell really good together this one kind of has like a herbal type scent kind of like rosemary and orange peel it smells awesome and it just it does a really good job at detangling my hair and if my hair feels dry or anything like that this is just a nice little pick me up okay so the next product i have here is a skincare product basically what happened a couple months ago is my clarisonic that i got last year i got it during the sephora vib sale last spring so like 2019 it stopped working for some reason. I had it less than a year and it stopped working altogether. I tried charging it. I tried connecting the Bluetooth to my phone. I tried resetting it. it just doesn't work and Clarisonic cannot replace it at the moment because of COVID. So I'm hoping that they will be able to replace that one soon. But in the meantime, I am using this one. This is by Duval and it's basically very similar to a Clarisonic. I'll show you guys what it does. I'm gonna probably be doing a review just comparing the two. So this one actually spins. So that's what it does. It also comes with a body brush head that you can use in the shower. It's really just nice at exfoliating and everything like that. And this brush head is super soft. It's very small, like it's smaller than my Clarisonic and I was not used to it at all at first, but I actually grown to really like this product. And this one does not recharge, unfortunately, like you have to change the batteries. I'm still on the first two batteries that I put in here back in like March or something when I started using this. So it's lasted me pretty long and I do like the other attachments that it comes with. I just use the regular, like the softest one for my face and then I use the body one. I haven't tried. There's actually a foot attachment like with a pumice stone, which looks interesting. I have not tried that out yet, but this is just really cool. Um, it does a really good job at taking off all the makeup on my face and it is pretty similar to the Clarisonic. I do like the Clarisonic a little bit better because it like pulses, like it's just, it makes your face feel a lot cleaner. But this is a really good alternative, especially if you can't afford the Clarisonic, this one's pretty good. And I do have a discount code with Duval as well. 
I got sent this like last year, the beginning of last year, and I hadn't started using it until this year. So I do have a discount code with them. I'm pretty sure it still works. I will leave it in the description box below and in the pinned comment. I'm actually on my third Clarisonic, which apparently like, I don't know. Every time I buy one, the person swears that it's gonna last me forever, but it never does. So I'm hoping that my fourth Clarisonic will last me a little bit longer than like however long that one lasted me for, like 11 months or something, 10 months. Next favorite product is this perfume. I have a review on this if you guys wanna check it out. I'll also leave that in the description box below slash pin post. So this is the Sugarful Fragrance by Michelle Germain. And I got this back in December and I pretty much used it like up to five times a week. I This is like my go-to fragrance whenever I go to work or anything like that. It's like it lasts throughout my whole entire shift. I don't feel like I have to reapply it or anything like that, but it's not, how to explain it? It's not like a fragrance that is gonna bother other people. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Like it's not a fragrance where somebody's gonna be like, oh, she's wearing like 10 sprays of flower bomb or something like that. Like, no, this one is pretty light. It does smell really nice and it does last me all shift. It just smells so good, honestly. It's like a fruity, sweet type fragrance. So if you're not into that, then I don't recommend this one, but it does have like strawberry, it does have notes of like strawberry and cotton candy in here. That's what it smells like to me. So I love this perfume and I have been using it a lot. It doesn't look like it because I still have a ton left, but I've literally been using this like five times a week ever since I got it. So, I mean, it's pretty long lasting if you guys can tell how much I use so far, but yeah. This has been my favorite fragrance since like the beginning of the year. Okay, so I'm gonna get into beauty products next, like makeup type products next. So, because there's quite a few of them. I'm wearing a couple of them on my face right now, so I can, I'm gonna get started with those ones actually. So, my first favorite has been these ColourPop liquid eyeshadows. These are just so good. And I have the colors Bellini and OG. They kind of look very similar. These ones came out with the Zoella collection last spring. And they're just so good. One is kind of like a rose gold color, and I would say the other one is just a more... I don't know how to explain this one, like a bronzy, bronzy type color. So I have a rose gold and a bronze, but they do look very similar in the packaging, just not on the eyelids. But anyways, what I really like about these is they last all day long. They don't crease. They just, honestly, this is just like having a liquid pigment. So it's like using a pigment, foiling it and putting it on your eyes without all the hassle of doing that. So I just really like these, they're super pigmented, they last really long on the eyes, and they look so bomb. So yeah, I really love both of these, and I actually really want to try more of these. If you guys have tried any other colors from ColourPop, let me know. By the way, you guys, I just came home from an 8-hour day shift, so if my makeup is kind of looking a little like I've been wearing it for eight hours that's why <laughs> but yeah i've been wearing that eyeshadow since the morning and it hasn't creased or done anything weird at least i hope it hasn't no it hasn't <laughs> so yeah honestly those just last so long they can last you all day long even if you go 12 hours with those on your eyelids they last and the glitter doesn't like fall on your face or anything so love 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 those liquid eyeshadows and what i like pairing with it is actually the kylie and jordan eyeshadow palette so this is actually from the kylie and jordan woods collaboration back when they were bffs so this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like what i like about this is it has a lot of neutrals so it has a lot of those like bronzy tone colors they're great for the summertime they're very warm toned and you do have like pops of you know a darker tone in the evening if you're going out that kind of thing it does have that section where you can kind of like smoke it out and everything or add like a pop of purple to your lower lash line. But I kind of stay on this side of the palette. I do use it with those two liquid eyeshadows and that's what I did today. So yeah, I just really like these bronzy tones in here. I think that this is just a really awesome palette. One of my favorite Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. So that's that and this has just been my go-to lately i don't know why i guess it's because it's been on top of my vanity for a while like it's been i have a 
should do another makeup collection video. But I basically have this thing of like, it's basically like a clear cube. I have it on top of my vanity and I have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes in there and this was just like in the very front. And it's been in the front for a really long time just kind of staring at me. I finally picked it up last month and I started using it. I'm like, this palette is awesome. So just great for like an everyday work type eyeshadow look. It's pretty effortless, pretty easy to blend and yeah, I have really nothing bad to say about this palette. It's awesome. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go into is eyeshadow primer. I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. And this is something that I picked up from the Sephora VIP sale because I was looking for a new primer. I've been alternating between the Too Faced Shadow Insurance with the Urban Decay Primer Potion for years now and I never really ventured into trying out new products but I do really like this one. I think it does a better job than the Too Faced and the Urban Decay one. The Too Faced one is a little bit like I find that my eyeshadows would crease after about the six hour mark maybe. Urban Decay just really dried out my eyelids for some weird reason but this has been bomb so far. It's done such a good job. It's what I'm wearing underneath my eyeshadow today and it's clear which I like. I don't like tinted eyeshadow primer. I don't like colored eyeshadow primer. If you guys are looking for a new eyeshadow primer, I really recommend the Fenty Beauty one. Okay, so the next product, I'm gonna get into my last eye product. And this is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner or NYX. NYX, NYX, I don't know which one you prefer. But um, yeah, I love this stuff. This is my favorite drugstore liquid liner. I haven't done liquid liner in like two years, honestly. I would do it sometimes. Like I would put it on if I was going to a party or if... I was really having a bad month with my lashes and they were all falling out or something like that, which was barely ever. But I had one month where I had to wait a really long time to do my lashes, like to get them filled again. So I was using this, like I used it a few times, but oh my gosh. So my eyelashes right now <laughs> just look horrible. I don't want to buy like any glue remover or anything weird to try and remove them. But I basically have like maybe three lashes on this side and like almost all of my lashes on this side. I don't know what, what it is with this eye, but it's literally been <laughs> almost two months. No, it actually has been two months since I got in my lashes done. And for some reason, this side has all the lashes <laughs> and this side has like nothing. So I've been using liquid liner to try to like kind of hide that and... Yeah, so this has been my favorite liquid liner. It's been doing a great job. It doesn't smudge, flake off, anything weird like that. Like, this has been on since, like I said, it's been on for like eight hours now. So this is my favorite by far liquid eyeliner that I've tried from the drugstore. It is kind of expensive. Like, it's around $11. It is a felt tip liquid liner. I just like the applicator of this stuff. Like it's really good. The formula is really good. And I literally had this, like I got this a week before I started getting lash extensions back in 2018. And it still has a ton of product in here only cause I've, I literally used it like a week beforehand before I got my lashes and I've been doing my lashes ever since then. So this I've had for a really long time. It's still like the day I got it and yeah, I've had no issue with it. I love this stuff so much. Okay, getting into the next product I have here. This is the only face product that I have in my favorites. And this is the Too Faced Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. So I got this during the Sephora sale again. And it's just my favorite primer of all time. It does such a good job. It is a matte primer, like a mattifying primer. It makes my foundation just go on really good makes it last all day long. The primer that I was using before this was the, it was by Too Faced as well, but it was like the hydrating one. It <laughs> didn't really go well with my skin. The mattifying one does such a good job and it's cooling. It just, it's it feels so nice when you're applying it. So love this primer. The last three products in this favorites video are lip products. So I'm going to tell you guys my favorite lip combo of the month as well as my favorite lip care product of the month. So my favorite lip care product has been the EOS Lavender Latte. Oh my god, it smells so good. EOS Lavender Latte Chapstick. So I have both. I have... 
So I have both. I have the sphere as well as the stick version. The stick version I find is more hydrating and then the sphere I like it as well. Like I use this whenever I whenever I go to sleep. I feel like this one is more coffee smelling than the other one. I don't know maybe I'm crazy but this has been my favorite. Oh my god it smells so good. It does smell like coffee and like sweet. It does smell like a latte pretty much. I don't get a lot of like lavender notes in here but oh my god this is my favorite so love this stuff and with this as well you guys know how like lip products they smell sweet but like when you taste them they kind of taste bad sometimes like or they taste like nothing i feel like this is flavored with something because i swear when i have this on and i lick my lip by accident it, it it's sweet like it tastes so good <laughs> not that you'd want to eat this but you know it's it's good i like this getting into the last two lip products this has been my favorite lip combo of the month this is like back to basics back to like my favorite lip products of all time type deal this is a mac lip combination so the lipstick is called faux and this is pretty much all i have left <laughs> so that's what that looks like it is a beautiful mauvey pinky color I really like it. This is definitely a neutral, not really nude lipstick on me. It's a little bit darker than a nude and I really do like colors like this. I think they're just so flattering and they go with like any eyeshadow look, any eyeshadow combination. Even if you're not wearing eyeshadow, this lipstick is just effortless and it's just one of those lipsticks that I can throw in my purse and I don't need a mirror and I can just put on and I know that it will look great. So on top of that, I like to wear the Nymphette lip gloss. It's a nice pinky nude lip gloss and yeah, I think the two will just look so good together. So that's what they look like right there and basically what happened is that i got kind of bored with just wearing matte liquid lipsticks all the time i just wanted something glossy and like a nice change i guess something that was somewhat moisturizing i feel like matte lipsticks are just kind of dry sometimes and they can crack and they just don't look as good at the end of the day so i just wanted to have something that was just you know effortless and that just hydrates my lips so i just love this lip combination so yeah that is pretty much all of my favorites for the past little while <laughs> i don't even want to i don't even want to call this video like april favorites because it's literally like the middle of may and that would be like so late but yeah this is my favorite products at the moment and i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys soon in my next video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i will see you guys soon bye everyone hold me close till i get up time